I never intended to have help. Um, I knew that I had, you know, some difficulties and challenges. Um, I knew that from my job and, you know, in personal relationships. But the thing is, it's so hard to to access that kind of help, right, because of the stigma. But I reached a point, a crisis point, actually, and I ended up in very temporarily in the unit over here, actually, overnight. And that was Christmas Day. So it was a really, really, really painful time for me. I was in a deep valley. After her overnight stay, Jackie was referred to the outpatient department and registered in the Dialectical Behavioral Therapy Program. Yeah, I've been in that ever since. You know, it's a wonderful program that teaches you how to manage extreme anxiety, which was one of my big problems, right? So, um, yeah, it's just, they've saved my life, actually. Yeah, and I'm not exaggerating when I say that. They, they really have. The effects of the pandemic have continued to take a toll on people's mental health. Joseph Brandt Hospital's outpatient mental health services receive more than 5,000 referrals a year. And if you don't have your mental health, it means so much is affected, right? Your relationships, your job, your physical health, everything's connected. And so we need to, we need to start talking about what's happening. We need to start making it so people aren't afraid to talk about it. To help raise awareness and funding, Equilibrium Burlington is hosting their third annual Walk to the Lighthouse on September 24th. Last year, they raised almost $20,000 for improvements to the mental health and addiction services at Joseph Brandt Hospital. It's the most amazing feeling. Um, I think what we hope with this walk, certainly yes, we need to fundraise. We, we need to um, redevelop our unit and our outpatient services and make them a more healing environment for our people. But really, this walk is about increasing awareness of our services, um, reducing stigma, letting people know that you're not alone. We're here. If you're struggling, call, get help. It can be a very difficult system to navigate and especially when you're not well. If you are absolutely in crisis, like sort of any time of day or night, 24 hours would be the COAST team. Um, if you feel like this is an issue that's sort of ongoing and I've got to do something about this, go to your family doctor, talk it over with them because they could maybe prescribe something, they could maybe connect you to us. And then if you're just really not sure, you can call. You can just call intake and that's 905-632-3737, extension 3423, and you'll speak to me. There's just so much silence around it, and what I've just, basically I've come out of the closet as far as this is concerned, and I've just stopped. I really realized that the problem was with me. I wasn't willing to name it for myself, but the minute I was able to say, you know what, I've been in this, help, in this program for well over two years now, and I would not be where I am now if not for this program. So it's evidence-based, right, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> you know, and um, I do have family members who have noticed a change, you know, in me. And when they ask questions, that's really important. And that's when I jump in and say, I take that opportunity and just say, you know, I know this is something that's really shameful in our society, but it doesn't need to be. This is about health and wellness. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.